I do not watch the skies anymore. Hey everyone, it's Wildman, and in today's video, we are going to be taking another dive into some more disturbing YouTube videos. And this is the fifth installment in our disturbing YouTube channel series, where we do take a look at some more obscure and disturbing YouTube channels that you guys have may not have seen. I also do want to thank you guys for the support on the last video. It did super well, and it really does mean a lot to me that you guys are watching, you know? So truly, thank you. And real quick, we're going to roll into a sponsor so I can pay my bills, but then we'll get straight into it. But real quick, I didn't want to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club that sends you a box of awesome. Inside you'll find top shelf goods from under the radar brands. It's free to join and you can skip a month or cancel any time. 90% of the products come from small brands, many of which are based right here in the US, like the Terra Box, which has a knife made from the bare bones based in Salt Lake City. Every month, Bespoke Post introduces their members to cool new products like outdoor gear, barware, home and kitchen goods, clothes, and even live oysters. And this is all based on a preference quiz that you fill out. Every box of awesome has around $70 worth of goods inside, but costs you only a fraction of the value. You can also get a preview of your box before it's even shipped. And you can decide if you want to keep it, swap the box, or just skip the month entirely for no charge, so you only pay for what you want. You have the shucked box, which comes with 25 or 50 oysters, Red Clay's original hot sauce, and a Declan oyster shucking knife. The Weekender box, which comes with a line of trade Weekender bag, great for a quick trip. Bespoke was also nice enough to send me the Switchback and Explore box, which comes with a Moraniv stainless steel knife, a Ren trifold shovel, a M-powered solar-powered lantern, and a fire strike. I really like the lightweight Nomad backpack that comes in the Explore box, and I definitely plan on filling this backpack with the other stuff and taking it out on a camping trip. To get 20% off your first box of awesome, click the link in the description and enter wowman20 at checkouts, or go to bespokepost.com slash wowman20. So this first channel called The Baroque Hour harbors a collection of videos that focuses on the documentation of these strange interruptions that occur on cable television, typically around the hours of 2 a.m. And this interruption is being caused supposedly by an organization that controls the entire world. And all of this information is being told to us via a victim of one of the broadcasts. I think I got a little too much attention from a very dangerous cult. They control the whole planet. They are everywhere. They have been around for a very long time. I did some research. I realized the truth. I hope you will find this tape to have one last memory of your son. And as he's spilling all of this information about the interruptions, his home is then broken into, and he is silenced. He claims that this was a highly organized cult that has a lot of power. This cult worshipping one called the Master, one known as Orpheus. And the way that the followers deal with outsiders and or anyone that gets in their way, there are two methods. One being the Awake Syndrome, which causes a distorted face, hollow eyes, enlarged mouth, enlarged jaw, and dull skin. The second is a sacrifice in which most of the symptoms do remain the same, although with the addition of a perpetual grin and exposed teeth. And going deeper into this video, there's even a step-to-step -step guide on how to perform a human sacrifice in one of these tapes. Step one is to prepare an altar in a suitable room. Step two is to place the human on the altar. Step three, pray. Step 4, prepare the branding iron. Step 5, brand the body. And finally in step 6, it is to hope that the body does not come back to life. Step 6, hope that the body does not come back to life. 
hope it doesn't come back to life. And within this series, it continues to expand on this very secretive cult in other creative ways. And in the fourth video on the channel, it's called Elections, depicting the latest member of the cult of Orpheus, a man named Jacob Foster. Because in this world, those who hold positions of power are targeted by this group to control them and make them abide by the rules of Orpheus. It says that as soon as Jacob was elected into office, he was approached by a group of men and handed a tape. A tape that would tell him he would need to adhere to the regulations of Orpheus. If he does not follow, him and his family would face the consequences. And the mayor even goes on to open his own investigation, trying to figure out who these people are and what they could possibly do to him. But it ends up backfiring because he learns way too much, and then him and his family are no more. series going more into depth the further you get into the videos, including a twisted take on blood drives. Have you ever thought about donating your blood for the homeland? Our hospitals are in great need of it. In which the cult is using the substance for a far more sinister purpose. for this next channel it's called vulture visions and it's definitely a strange one like if you remember that scene from the office where gabe makes a horror film and it's kind of just this obscure weird footage and there's even like a video of stanley or something that's kind of the vibe that this channel has there isn't any real direction in these videos at least from what i can tell but the videos themselves are pretty unnerving with titles like Force to Continue, The Abyss is Waiting and Starving Outside, and Punishment to It. Finding this channel definitely felt like a weird fever dream if I'm being honest, because in a video called Where My Brothers Lay, all you can hear is this distorted audio of what sounds like a creature. <laughs> The description stating, visiting viciously at the lower end of Valley 23. We spent a lot of time crafting before this. Ezekiel was the first to go. There's still so many others though. In a following video called Help Us Help You, we're shown a flock of birds followed by a message that says, we follow you, help us help you. So already you can kind of see a pattern here. Things don't really make sense and a lot of the descriptions seem kind of like gibberish. The latest upload on the channel, which was made about a year ago from me filming, is called Action with Fire Elementals, Salamanders Flee, Disappear. We take responsibility for this fire life action after much study of the art. Our research is now done. We will progress to the science within reason when handling others starting now. And looking through some of the comments on these videos, most people, including myself, are pretty much under the impression that this entire channel is an art project and not an ARG, like 
some have speculated because a lot of the descriptions and the stuff that happens in the videos don't really make any sense although they are pretty unsettling to watch but yeah still i love finding weird and obscure channels like this So the next channel is called Dark Mind, which has made an appearance in a previous video, but I only ended up covering two videos on the channel, so I feel like I didn't really show you guys how creepy this channel can be. Because when you go back into the channel's older videos, there are some pretty unsettling uploads down here, including one called 4AM, I'm in a Nightmare, which does have the premise of Dark Mind recording his nightmares, which is a pretty cool concept. In the nightmare, you're this small toy bear in a plastic home, hiding under the covers from the apparitions at the foot of your bed. The bear is taken, and then the video shifts into this segment. The channel has a few of these nightmare recording videos, including one that's a compilation of the creepiest things that they have witnessed in the dreams. And in another video called No Sleep Tonight, it states, the video shows the effects of sleep disturbance and insomnia on the mind, but in a more nightmarish way. The person stayed awake for many days, that his biggest fears are turned into half nightmare. He cannot differentiate between reality and the nightmare, which traps him in a dimension of continuous visions of various haunting clips. In the video, it starts off with this person drawing this very unsettling version of a Teletubby, which I'm pretty sure we can all agree are pretty freaky to look at on their own. Also, did you guys know that these things are like six feet tall? Like the purple one is 10 feet tall, which is kind of weird. So there's something you know now. But continuing into the video, it goes into the segment that says that your doppelganger is always watching you. showing us a really messed up doll, saying, quote, who is she? The video ending with, remember this place and you will not be able to forget them. The last video from this channel I wanted to include here is one called Manifestation, where it focuses on a person drawing this strange creature, however upon looking inside of the box, the creature is inside. Which does get you to question if the creature was inside of that box the entire time, or as the title suggests, was it manifested into existence from his drawing. I forgot to film this part the other day, so I'm redoing it here. Okay, so for this next channel called Burial Goods, I've gone through a ton of their videos, and the general consensus when it comes to this channel is that you never know if the video is going to be funny or extremely terrifying. Ethan wants to say hi. <laughs> and the first video that I found by this account is called I Saw the Face of God. I once saw the face of God. A vast and sudden silence among the noisy heavens. And that evening I dreamed I listened to one 
side of a conversation I should not have overheard. I do not watch the skies anymore. I do not look up. And although the video is pretty simple, it's just an image with ambience playing in the background with the added voiceover, it tells an extremely chilling tale that makes the video so much more disturbing. And after this monologue, another person starts talking about their experience with the same phenomenon. Some nights, some nights are darker. Some are almost black, Rachel. Like tonight, it seems so dark. Scared of being alone. You know you're not alone. The last line that the person delivers is, quote, it's just the wind. It's as if she's trying to convince herself that what she saw could not have possibly been real. Or perhaps her own mind is unable to comprehend what was in front of her. Now, this image does not originate from Burial Goods himself. It has been floating around Reddit and Tumblr for a while now, I think a couple of years. However, the entire production, including the voiceover, the ambiance, and that ending bit with that added person was provided by Burial Goods. I also tried to find the original source of this image, but all I could find was this reddit comment that led me to this tumblr post which i think is the original image in another video called god made horrors beyond your comprehension within it it reads far beyond the place of stopping by rj williamson which is one of the viewers of burial goods's channel who sent him his poem directly the poem highlights the horrors of being lost never to return home entering this unknown place where all you can hear are the cries of thousands for the king of this place Long and walking, far beyond the place of stopping. Where there was no more returning to the people I had known. I saw the world forgotten. The cries never stop and you will never go home. And it's then when your voice joins in. Once again the song I hear. The song. The song. The song. I long to taste the food of the earth. earth. I long for water quenching. It's a truly horrifying poem and I highly recommend checking out the original video because after watching it a few more times and following along the poem in the description, you really get a sense of how terrifying this concept really is. And so for a little bit of a refresher besides Pinto, I did say that this channel can bring you something funny or something extremely terrifying and so far we've only really covered the horrifying bits. So this next video takes the premise of an internet game where you are with a Borzoi waiting for the elevator. <laughs> The dog tells you that he is the repair man, and both of you enter the elevator. But something is wrong, because with each floor that you pass, they get increasingly more eerie. And the dog's patience with you wears thin, as he believes that these errors are your fault. Okay, so for this last channel we're gonna be taking a look at it's called four anomaly and you guys can kind of view this one as a little bit of a teaser because i'm not sure if we're gonna be covering this entire channel but if you guys do like it i will be doing a deep dive into it because the runtime of the first season is like about an hour long so let me know what you think about it so in this first video called the cult of Mirahaj, we're shown a list of four missing persons thomas friel carolyn porter ian caruseo 
and Katrine Ziegler. In August 2002, the Ontario Police reported the disappearance of four high school students. The police focused on patrolling the vicinity of the school, as well as less crowded wooded areas. After a few hours, they found nothing but trees, bushes, and endless muddy paths, until they came across a rather peculiar area. These religious symbols were found scattered for several miles around. In the same area, huge excavated pits were found, but they were completely empty. A possible cemetery was suspected, however, no headstones were found. In the depths of the forest, the police abruptly came across a large ancient building. Next to it a couple of cabins and sheds. All of them had the inscription of a large insect drawn in vivid colors. The surrounding areas were searched and no human or animal activity was reported. Then we are shown the sample page of the resurrection of Marahaj. And upon seeing this image, we are then shown something that depicts the ancient followers of the cult. Quote, Due to the risk of poisoning, quick photographs were taken and there was no contact with what was found inside the room. And then we are shown a few images that I honestly might have to blur given they do look like mummified people that are also oozing a very strange substance. I'm not entirely sure if I'll be able to show the entire image, but I'll put it here. It then looks like the entire area in which this was found was sectioned off, as we can see people in hazmat suits evacuating the premises. After this, it says that in addition to those found in the basement, there were more in the attic, but these weren't like the others. It said that the heads found on the individuals were not like any human skull, but rather had this odd disfigured shaping, and the investigators theorizing that there are two possibilities as to what's going on here. One, that the people had been surgically altered to appear this way before they were laid to rest, or two, that these had been hyper-developed larvae in a partial state of dissection. Quote, the mansion should be burned immediately until the case can be solved to prevent any disease that may be in there. But yeah, that pretty much does it for this video. Please let me know which one of these channels freaked you out the most, or just comment bra because that helps me out a lot. And as always, huge thank you to all of my channel members, as well as my ultimate tiers, Jodator, Kareem Ariano, Alejandro from the Tower, Kpop Lover X3, and Knight98. If you want to support me and the channel, it's only $1.99. And yeah, see you later. Bye. Love ya.